Hello everyone, today on my desk there is a M1 MacBook Air The problem when the keyboard is not working So basically whatever we're gonna do, keyboard is not typing The mouse is not moving either and the trackpad is not working as well So basically it clicks when I press it but nothing happens at all so i can show you so you see the mouse is stuck in the corner and it's not moving when i'm moving the trackpad but it does click if i try to press keyboard keys nothing is typing as well okay but the funny thing is if i'm trying to do Let's say SMC reset, but they're saying this M1 Max has no SMC. But for some reason, they just switched off the Mac. So if I'm holding the option command, shift, and power button, the Mac switched itself off. So this means the keyboard is still talking, but something else is preventing it. For the keyboard and trackpad to work okay so let's try to open this up and see what we can find Okay, first things first, we're gonna look if we can spot any liquid damage. I can't see anything on the base cover. Mm -hmm. well, everything looks clean and tidy. You see some marks here. A little bit something here. So that's the flex cable which is going to the actual board and that from that board is going to the keyboard and from let's say direct flex cable it goes to the trackpad itself as well I can see the trackpad flex is kind of bent here well it has some strange mark on it I'm not sure what is it okay so first thing before we're gonna do anything, we're gonna disconnect the battery. Always disconnect the battery before doing anything. So the battery is disconnected. So now what I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play with this flex cable first, because I think that's where the problem might be. As from my experience, when the keyboard and trackpad is not working, most of the time the problem is the flex cable. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first, I will take off this flex cable and I will try to use my to see if this is gonna resolve the problem. But to do so, I need to take the trackpad out of here. So we're just taking eight screws. And there is another one in the middle, so it's nine screws, okay? So now, gently open this up. Make sure do not damage the flex cable, because it might be still good. You don't know. Okay, so we have our trackpad out. 
Okay, so let's move the machine at the moment to the side and let's inspect the actual trackpad. What we can see here. Well, I can't see anything here. The only thing is, what I'm concerned is this. I'm not sure if you're seeing, it's like a bent mark here on this side. So because of that, I will try to fit another one flex cable and see if that resolves the problem. Okay, I have another one flex cable here. Now let's take this one out. Just lift this one up. And take this one out. Of course, it has some adhesive as well. That's why it's not going that easily out. So, okay. This goes that way. in let's lock it now let's fit this one back in let's open the lid carefully then fit this one through the hole, go straight here, lift it down, and you're good to go. So while holding with one hand, you can take a screw and just secure it. Make sure all the washers are still in place. You have one, two, three, four, five washers. Make sure they're all in place. Okay, I will add another one screw. more on the sides I'm not worried about aligning the track but now because I want just to test it so let's connect this one this one is for the keyboard let's fit this one in and now let's connect the board okay that's all connected and now let's connect the battery Okay, so let's plug in the charger. Let's open the lid. So, and we're gonna test if flex, the new flex cable resolved the problem. I hope it does. Okay, are you ready? Hey, you see, the cursor is moving. So the trackpad is working again and now let's try to tap something and it is typing it is a fucking flex cable so as i said it could be because of this band and that's why it's not working so the funny thing is apple quote more than 400 pounds from my client to fix that problem Nice. So, I just want to see what happened with this flex cable. So I will try to scrape it to see if I can find anything what caused it not to work. Look at how blurry. That's much better. Oops. Stay in place. 
So let's scrape this down. I want to see where the problem is. Why it was not working. I think I can see already. It's not the place when, where I was thinking, but I think that's another one place. Because here is a band. I think this is gonna be a flat line one. So this is N bit and basically it's it's bent like this. Okay, when you plug in to the shack but it is bent like this. And see look. If I'm gonna zoom in. I think that's the maximum I can zoom in. Let's try to put some focus on it. You see? The track here, it's gone. It's like a burn mark. Can't be a burn mark. That's exactly where it bends. So, this track is missing. And because of that, this flex is not working. Why I wanted to check this? Because when I when I told you it could be this band which is seen here but I can see this is a flat line okay and there is nothing here I think it's like like one flat line going here so it's not possible for this to stop here here is a tiny one, which is separate from the flat one, as you can see. But it's all good here. But on the other side, there is a problem. So. Now I have 100% uh, evidence that this flex cable is definitely faulty. Confirmed twice. Yeah, okay. So guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope that this was helpful for you and will save time investigating what the problem could be if the trackpad and keyboard is not working. Of course, there could be any other problem with it. So let's say it could be liquid damaged or anything else. But most important, the first thing to check is try to use another one flex cable because in most case scenarios, that's what I'm experiencing in my tech life.